Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and huge shout out to the Crocs team and Jeff Staples team for sending these my way. Today we're going to be reviewing Jeff's collaboration with Crocs on the All Terrain Clog and these are known as the Homing Pigeon. Let's take a quick sneak peek. another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming up that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store today we are going to get to unbox a special gift that was given to me by jeff staple and the crocs team and i am so excited because when i unboxed these earlier today i was so excited so i can't wait to do the overview of these jump into size and fit talk about how i sell them and where you can find these so let's jump right into it i'm going to start off with this really cool postcard that uh was inside of the box so it says staple crocs enter into the world of the homing pigeon these legendary messenger birds are known for their ability to fly at long distances while always finding their home the homing pigeon all terrain clog pays homage to these high fly with a mesh netting pocket and a rugged outsole designed to withstand long treks across the city. The time our gibbets are a mix of, this time our gibbets are a mix of shiny treasures to bring back to the coop. Uh, have fun. Really cool little postcard we've got there. And I love the inspiration behind these. As we know, Jeff Staples, known for the pigeon. So I love how he's decided to incorporate this into this croc. Uh, for those of you who have not seen his first croc collaboration, really cool, had the pigeon on there in a different way, but this is just completely different. And I just love the effect that this has because it is such a unique croc. People definitely were staring at me when I was shooting these on the street but starting with the front we do have black eva foam on this specific croc which is super comfortable i love that they've added this and it does have more of a nice kind of all-terrain feel so i feel like you kind of go hiking in these even but definitely something i could walk around the city in all day long one of the coolest parts though is the front here this is like this cool mesh black netted pocket and it has this like drawstring here so you can actually put things in inside of here uh, but I've added the gibbets the way that I kind of felt was unique to my own way of styling these. The cool thing about having gibbets is you get to choose which ones you want to put on, which ones you may want to leave off. The gibbets came in this really cool neoprene pouch here in black, and it's got staple Crocs on the back here. Uh, but these are like hardcore heavy duty metal pieces. So we've got NYC sewer on this one. We've got the, what looks like an earring and it's got a rat on on it um and then we've got staple crocs it's a ripped up condom so the inspiration behind this also is to kind of give a feel for things that you would find in the trash i love how like quirky and funny the uh gibbets are this time around and they're just super high quality we also have like a nice little stud here on the other one i've added the pigeon which is so cool because it stands up and my favorite one is probably actually the lighter that you see here and this is like a heavy duty lighter it literally feels like an actual lighter itself uh, and then we've got the safety pin and the top of what looks like uh, would go to a can. So definitely got a lot of cool inspirations for my gibbets and I feel like it's such an artistic look and feel. And again, it's all black, which I love because black is very difficult to, you know, get really dirty here. I only work in black. 
and sometimes very, very dark gray. Uh, let's move along to the back of the strap. So we've got that same kind of netting feel that you have on the front as well on the back of the strap here. There are hits of red accents, which are subtle but nice. And then we've got the pigeon statement on the side of the strap here. Inside, it's all black and it just says um, iconic Crocs comfort. And then as we work our way down to the bottom midsole portion of this, we've got red and black accents and then just a red and black accent for the outsole on these. Another cool part of this is the box. This is actually how I received it. And this really just cool, vibrant silver metallic box. Uh, and it's got, of course, some cool artwork inside. We've got sable Crocs there. So we've got this cool like splattering mark going on. Uh, but I'm pretty, pretty obsessed with these. Excited to just rock these around the city. I think that these are just show look at me stand out ish. Uh, I love these. I feel like I have to rock these during fashion week or something right now. Uh, but let's look at uh, all those different details. I know there were a lot and show you what all these gibbets look like up close and personal. So as far as, as size and fit, it depends on how you like to wear your Crocs. If you like to wear it with the strap down, if you like to wear it with the strap up. I, in particular, like to wear my strap up on my Crocs. I know that there are people who say that you have to wear them a certain way. You get to wear your sneakers in your Crocs or your slides or your foam runners, whichever way is unique to you. So for me personally, I wear these with the straps up. Uh, and so I actually size down because of that. So I am typically a size seven to a size six, depending on how much extra space or room I want to have in it. But I definitely size down for my seven and a half size range. So if you do like to wear these in that similar way, then I definitely would recommend taking a size down at least half a size on these, especially if you're somebody who runs in the half range like myself. All right. So now let's talk about how I style these. Just such a really cool, quirky looking croc, especially with the gibbet. So I definitely wanted to add lots of black to the mix because I feel like that is most complimentary to the look and feel of these. So for the first look, I decided to go with some leather bell bottom pants and just a nice cropped black tank top. I think all black is really the way to go with these ones. For the second look, I decided to wear a maxi ribbed dress. Definitely don't feel like you can't dress these up and have fun with it.
And then for the last and final look, I decided to wear a leather button down jacket with a black tank underneath and some matching black leather shorts. Again, just really fill in the You let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these? Now let's conclude with how much these will be going for. So these are set to release on September 13th. Uh, and you can find these of course on the Crocs website. They will be selling for $75. And for those of you who were able to actually cop one of the NFTs that released in coordination with these Crocs, congratulations, super jealous of you. Uh, but Jeff Sable did release an NFT that went with these on the staple verse. So there were very few to go for. So there were only 246. So that's why I'm congratulating anyone who was able to cop those just because it was extremely limited. But there was an NFT that was launched alongside of this. All right. So huge shout out again to the Crocs team and Jeff Staple for sending these my way. Really appreciate you as always. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below and hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode.